So I'm in front of 53, uh, 5315 Master Wagon. Wagon Master, sorry. So this is the immediate neighborhood. It's very quiet out here. You also have the mountain range up there. If we look around that tree, you see Pikes Peak. So this is the house. It has stucco in the front. Um, the garage door seems to be not upgraded. It was just painted. The roof is new. And then you have here your front lawn. And you also have a deck on your front. Here are those two little rabbits sitting there eating all the weed away. So we walk in here and you can see like you have like a really nice entryway. And you do have a deck right here. So you could technically also sit out here and enjoy your neighborhood from the front of the house. So I will go inside and show you everything there is on the inside of that home. We walk in and we do have the wood floors. Let me close this door. So I am here in the front. There is definitely lots of room to greet people. We also have a coat closet right off the front here. And then you have a little bit of an extra space here. You could use this as a living room, but you have a whole living room down there too. So you have lots of extra space here. Um, everything with wood and it's similar to the other house. It has like this large window. This window is in extremely better shape than in the other house. You're pretty close to the neighborhood of the other house as well. Um, there would be your dining area, so you have the kitchen there. What you could do, since the wall is not connected, you could take it out and make it an open kitchen, but then you would lose the um, cabinet space on the wall, but you could make this a really big breakfast bar over here around and put the fridge maybe on this side, but that would mean you would have to remodel all of this again. So this is the kitchen. You have the skylights up here. They make it nice and light. You have the granite countertops, brand new cabinets here. So they're not just the front new, they're completely new. That's when you look inside to even put these things in there so stuff cannot move around so much. I have some... Oh, I was just wondering if it's one of those slow close ones. Um, yeah, so you have lots of cabinet space here. It is a smaller kitchen, so um, I wouldn't say that the cabinets are brand new because I think I remember seeing that this kitchen was remodeled before they bought it. Um, this granite was in there already, as far as I remember from the pictures. Because you can tell, I mean, they're great cabinets. I'm just trying to say these things to figure out if it's really worth $100,000 more than what, you know, it sold for a couple months ago. Yeah, you can see, like, Tiny scratches, which is obviously not a big deal, but it looks like they were in before. All right, well, that's it for the kitchen. Then you have a little nook here. You can put a little chair there with a, a little table for a kitchen. It's definitely a cool kitchen. I mean, it looks really nice. It's very updated. It has those has this updated fridge that would be a freezer. You have your ice machine here. And then you do have all this too. And 
mean, this is new. I mean, still has a sticker in it. So the fridge was bought new. Not sure about the oven. No, the oven is not new, but it's clean. So, and the microwave here. Whoops, couldn't see it. And then the dishwasher down there. That's all stainless steel appliances. So I'm back here by the front, so I was able to walk all the way around and back here by the front. So you can go upstairs and you can go downstairs. Since downstairs is going to be quick, I'll go down here first. You have tile right here. And then new carpet in the living room. And this is huge. This is a really big living room. Then you have the sunroom. In the sunroom, I did my research. The sunroom has been here for a while. It was not put in brand new just now. Um, you can tell, I mean, if you just look at the windows, this is not brand new. They just painted over it, as you can see right there. Um, doesn't mean they don't work. They are in really good shape, but the sunroom is not brand new. They may have just permitted it with this remodel, and it may have not been permitted before that, but it's definitely not something we have to put into that calculation of $100,000 more to ask for the house. So out there is that play set, and you can see the backyard. It's a decent sized backyard. I'll go down there, out there for you. So you have a really heavy door here, and the screen door. So I'm out here now, and I want to check on that playground if it's really if it needs to be replaced or not no that thing is pretty sturdy um, I mean when I touch that it's pretty scrapey so um, the kids should probably definitely wear shoes on this playset other than that as you can see here I mean, it's not new um, but it is, it is useful, like you can use it, um, you can put a new roof on that thing and the kids can use it, so here, only this thing is moving on the side here obviously, um, but the slide itself is completely fine. Now on the other side, since I'm already out here, might as well do that. Um, here, this is pretty sturdy too, and then this one here, yeah, so the slides are good, the swings are good, you can put a little sandbox, put some more sand in there, so there you see the house from the back as well. I have lots of battery, so I can make bigger videos now. So we also have a little shed here. And this would be a gate, like the gate is pretty wide. Oh no, it's this way. The gate here for accessing the backyard from the front of the house. Now I will go inside and show you the rest of it. You also have a little bit of a concrete slab here for a barbecuer. Um, sitting outside barbecuing. Well, you can barbecue outside and eat in here. It has older tile. This is also an indication of that it's not brand new. It has this typical older tile. It's by all means, it's not ugly. I am. Just letting you know that it's, it was not part of the remodel. They did fix it up, that's for sure. It looks all nice in here now. Okay, so I'm back in the house. Let me close this 
Let me lock this before I forget. And from down here, you can look up into the kitchen as well. So if you were to sit down here, watching TV or whatever, you can see the kitchen plan. Not that typical open floor plan like the other home, but you can see, and then you have a wood burning stove here. No, actually, it is a gas that needs to be serviced because you see all that wonkiness that just means it needs to be serviced okay so i'm looking for the plugs for your tv and that would be it over here so you have all that down here again you have lots of space up there too with the living room so I'm down here, this tile again. You go into the garage from here. This is the garage. Got some cabinets already built in here that are still from the owner before, I would assume. Or you never know. <laughs> but you have some shelving in here. And then up here. This should be closed. It's not a... Oh, no. There you go. Because that's closed. That's why it's okay that it's open here. Um, what they did... This is what they did. It was like this. With the angle of the roof. And they built those... Um, boards there. So they have storage above it. So that's pretty cool. So you have lots of storage up there. Okay, so now I'm going to the laundry room and that bathroom down here. So you have this bathroom down here. It has also the tile. And then a bigger vanity with some space there. It's just a small half bath, so people that visit you can use this bathroom. And then I go back here, also tile on the floor, and this would be a laundry room. It's a really nice and big laundry room. Um, the hookups are over here, and you already have shelving on top of that too. And then you have some a folding table here, and you can put your laundry detergent in here. You know, I mean you got some room here, that's for sure. And this is also that window that we saw at the front of the house. Okay, so you do have a basement here too. And the basement. It's down here. They have some of those good smelly thingies in here. So I'm wondering if you normally have a moldy smell in here. Um, could be, maybe not. It smells good in here. Um, you do not have those typical drywalls here. This is the actual wall from the house. The actual concrete here. But you have a large room down here. So if you wanted a man cave, here it is. You can always install a door up here so nobody can just come down here or you can be as loud as you want and nobody can hear it. You also have your mechanic room down here, the water heater and the furnace. So you got all that. And over there on the, on the ground is your sump pump. I mean, a sump pump is always good, so it is right here underneath that. Okay. So, I'm gonna go upstairs to show you all the bedrooms. The bedrooms have a good size. Um, there's one particular bedroom, a secondary bedroom that's really large actually. 
Um, one thing I noticed here walking up, this first step is higher than the others. I just figured I'll let you know. Um, yeah, when I walk up, it's like a lot higher. Okay, so we're back here by the front. And I will walk upstairs here now. Again, that's a new carpet here. And all the bedrooms do have carpet. So you have one bedroom right here. It's a little bit smaller. And they left the closet doors in here. And painted them. So it is a smaller room. And this room goes out to the front. It has blinds in here too already. And then right across from here is the other room. It's pretty big actually. Goes to the backyard. And you see all the, the roof right here. You can see. There you go. And this is the closet up there. And it has a fan in here. You don't have AC in this house. Um, it is warm. I mean, I will not lie. It's really warm. Um, in general, I don't have AC in my house either. And I'm strongly considering getting one. Well, that could be also part of the deal. Put AC in and we'll pay all this, you know? So... Yeah, we're definitely going to try to get everything out of it that we can. So, you have your full bathroom down here. This is the bathroom for those bedrooms that are up here. Or if you want your guests to use this one, that's fine too. This is the shower. You also have a skylight up here. And there's your light. It is, uh, it's not a brand new tub, it looks like, but the tub is in great shape. That's probably why they left it in here. They put all the tile around it. And this is also really cool tile here on the floor. So you have, I don't know if I showed you this one. Yes, I did. I showed you this one. So you have that towel closet here you have another one right here this is the view down to that main level so here you have that and then I go to the third bedroom up here and this room is actually super big so the oldest will have a huge room this is really nice and big. And then you also have the closet there. Um, now we come to the master. The master is nice and big as well. The only thing the master does not have is it doesn't have a walk-in closet. It has this double closet right here. I open that up a little bit so the whole frontal view of the closet would be like this. So you would have lots of room in there too, but it's not a walk-in closet. So your windows, you have two windows in here. One goes out to the front and this one obviously goes out to the side of the house. So you don't have to worry. That house doesn't have any windows on that side. But that house has an AC, so more and more people get AC in these areas because it does get warm after a while. It cools down in this in the at night, but during the day it's pretty cold and yeah, pretty hot. So this um, shower door is not new. At least it doesn't look new. But you have all the tile in here. It's an oversized shower. And it has this tower here. And this is what that is. Let me see real quick. It's still up. It's working. Now let me show you this. 
I'm not even sure how that works. I have no idea. So this one turns that one on. And if you keep turning it, it will turn these things on here. This one should work too. I have no idea of how these things work, but I'm sure you can figure it out after a while. So you can have these ones on and then I have no clue. Well, you are supposed to be having these two, those two, and those two turn on the water. I have no clue how that's supposed to work. But then you also have this thing here. And this one sprays some water too, as you can see here. How it exactly works? Sorry, I have no clue. It's just something that I have never had in my house, so I'm really not sure. So no, no water at all is working. <laughs> I must have pushed something to make this not work. All right, well, I'll leave it the way it is. That's something that that I don't know. You will figure out as you go. That will be also tested in an inspection. And they usually know a little bit better than me how this works. I would think if you turn it, it will turn on, but it didn't. So, um, okay, so this is the house. I am in the master. I will walk down there so you kind of get the feel of how big this actually is. And you have all that room too. You can hear an echo in this room too, because it's so big. In the dining room. Yep. So I will go ahead and I will make the video of the other home now.